Hello. So you might say to me, uh, Ujiao, when I come to Shenzhen, what kind of different stuff could I expect to see uh, in a local Walmart compared to my Walmart back home? I'm not going to say weird stuff because uh, obviously the people here, maybe when they go to your Walmart, they might think you have weird stuff. So it's just different. Uh, here's some anti-hair fall shampoo. Local recipe, I'm sure. Probably doesn't work any better than anyone back home. Uh, I don't know why, but they generally have uh, more brands of toothpaste than I remember seeing back home. It's all toothpaste. The whole wall of it. Uh, you'll always find a um, disproportionate <laughs> number of red underwear. These are uh, Shenzhen school uniform. I always thought that the school provided those. This is for Xiao Shui and this is Zhong Shui. We look about to see Yanda. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Uh, they have a stripe on the side on the on the uh, junk tray. Uh, they're very weak on uh, camping and barbecue supplies. This is considered a considered a luxury barbecue, I guess, to the average person. Uh, they do have uh, round rolls of toilet tissue. But they're just as big on, uh, I'd say half and half, for the square type, almost like a Kleenex type box, but it's for toilet tissue. About half of them. Uh, I find they have a couple of weird names for baby diapers. Here's Goon. Uh, Mooney, uh, that might not be so weird, I guess. Mooney and Goon. Uh, they do have a good selection of shoes, but if you're a size 10 or over, you better bring a spare pair. You're, it might be difficult to find uh, anything from 10, 10, size 10 and up, US size. When I go shopping for shoes, I don't uh, even check styles. I just right away go to the counter and ask if they have, uh, have my size, any, even one shoe. Uh, normally they don't. Uh, in Walmart, just like just about anywhere that sells books, You'll see a place to sit down and read books, which I find kind of strange. Once people go through the book, I prefer not to buy that. And I got these <laughs> massage chairs that people reading. Uh, many of these books are, you call that earmarked? Looks like the cover is bent on a lot of these. Uh, they don't have the big washing machines generally that uh, you'd be used to in the West. These these are newer ones here with a spinner, so it gets them partially dry. I don't think I've ever seen a dryer for sale in China. Just hang up your clothes. Uh, of course, if you're looking for a rice cooker, you've come to the right place. They're all rice cookers. Good selection of rice cookers. And more rice cookers. Of course, they can be used for some, a few other things as well. You can make a stew in there, or stuff like that. Uh, I don't think you could bake a cake. This is generally what's considered a stove. Unless you have gas, gas stove. Uh, otherwise, uh, Ovens are very rare here also, except for like a toaster oven on your on your counter. So here's an example of an oven that you might see here. So you probably won't be baking any birthday cakes. So here's your gas stoves. Got a good selection of the gas stoves, generally two burner in the counter. And these are water heaters. Almost everyone uses this type, but a few people use these. These are limited, obviously, to uh, whatever's in the tank. Uh, you can buy a liter of blended uh, Scotch imported whiskey for about 
I'm gonna say seven dollars. It's 58 RMB. 70 is uh, about a dollar. Oh, sorry, seven. Seven is a dollar. About uh, dried tangerine beer. Raspberry beer. How about some pineapple beer? <laughs> so here's some, they call this white wine Baito. This is uh, Walmart's own brand here. Plastic bottle. And it is, where is it? 52%. Now it's in a plastic bottle. It's not meant to be drank right out of that bottle. Here's some more plastic bottles here. Um, that's meant to be poured into a large flask with, with a bunch of uh, different spices and stuff. Make a different drink. So as far as strange vegetables, uh, I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with this. I believe this is a lotus. Lotus root. I don't know. Are these turnips? Not sure. Look a little different. Maybe they grow different. They call these pumpkins, but I think they're actually squash. Also not sure what this is or this. Obviously stuff that grows in the ground. Also this one looks kind of weird. I don't know what it is. Uh, can't, I'm not sure if I've had that before. So today they're low on durian. Usually have the whole durians here and they cut them up. So somebody's obviously cut one up here and put it in the packages. Uh, I don't think they have these in the west. I think they're called dragon fruit. Sometimes they're red inside, sometimes they're white. One's better than the other, I think. You'll find they love their sunflower seeds. It's all different types of flavors and sizes of sunflower seeds. This is common in all the grocery stores. Uh, it sells by the uh, half, half kilogram. So you just get a bowl, start filling it up with stuff. This stuff, most of it here, looks pickled. So you can come over here, some breads. It's all steamed, steamed stuff. Uh, if you're into tofu, they always have a very good selection of tofu. Very popular here. Selection of different seaweed. Live fish. Live squids. Now if you pick up one of these fish, uh, you scoop it out. We got a net here, you just scoop it out with a net. Go take it in the back and clobber it. Slice it up for you. Can't get fresher than that. So if you don't like chicken feet, I think these are goat's feet. You can also go for the goat's feet. Actually, that might be small pigs. Because I see the, the half, half pig heads here. So on this one here, you can, you can see the eye, where the eye was, there's a ear. So, I th I've heard cheek meat is supposed to be very good. Whole chickens with the feet, of course. And these ones here are definitely pig's feet. More feet. That's got to be pig feet, too. Those look frozen. Now, I'm just showing you the stuff that's a little different. Of course, they have... Uh, all the regular cuts of meat as well. You might not find their uh, selection of frozen food that appealing. You'll find the odd, maybe frozen pizza or french fries, but uh, the rest of it's a lot of this Chinese style food. Here's a Walmart, Walmart pizza. This is about as close as you're gonna get to normal. Uh, a couple of different types of frozen corn. Frozen veggies, and here's some French fries, even some funky looking ones for the kids. They used to always have 
McCain. McCain french fries here. Here's a, those uh, Cavendish. I think they got those back home. Oh, it's not McCain. Sorry, it's Cavendish. That was, these are these are good fries. If you're gonna cook those. Yeah, one of those little ovens. <laughs> and what goes with a really big selection of rice cookers? A really big selection of rice. And there's definitely a difference. Some of them are really good. Generally, I think you get what you pay for. The big bags. Big bags, big, big bags. These are 10 kilogram, 10 kilogram rice bags. All rice. Rice, rice, rice. But, uh, like I said, you got to figure that if you got that many rice cookers. All oh, rice. More rice. This one looks like it might be a good one. And generally, they have a uh, whole aisle set aside for oil. They do a lot of cooking with oil here. So you'll also find no shortage of uh, soy sauce and similar things. Vinegar also is big. This is mostly soy sauce aisle here. If you like soy sauce, then you're gonna have your selection here. And not only uh, Walmart, but uh, even small stores generally have a very good selection of these uh, instant noodles so you can probably eat that one day a week or for one meal a week find one you like there's different levels of heat usually the obviously the red being the hottest and the green being the coolest I think or maybe the blue if they have a blue one Tons of them. They're all instant noodles. So the snack aisles are usually where you find the biggest differences. Like here's a dried durian. I wonder if that would smell any better than the fresh durian. Uh, taro chips, crispy taro chips. Might not be too bad. Just little crisps. And I never noticed these before. Mushroom crisps. And black broccoli florets. Never noticed those before. I might even actually give the mushroom a try. So as I mentioned before about the sunflower seeds, these are pretty much all sunflower seeds. Good selection if you like sunflower seeds. This is a whole selection of different uh, Hawthorne Walmart brand. Um, I find it a little bit bitter, so I don't really care for Hawthorne. Looks like they have it in several different forms, including rolls. Okay, so generally, uh, majority of these snacks I haven't tried. I think most, yeah, these are fish, fish based. Most of them. Here's a mouth party. Mouth party. <laughs> ah! Be a fun thing to do with your snack. I think this looks like dried tofu, maybe? So yeah, as I said, I haven't really tried most of these. I do buy these from time to time. It's actually uh, dried fish dried fish skin. I think they're deep fried, so don't eat them very often. They're pretty good though, very crunchy. There's not that many in a bag though, that's my only complaint. Uh, I wonder about these different, there's parts of chicken, parts of chicken. Okay, oh, it's all chicken feet, sorry. 
chicken feet that cut up. I, I wonder about those being non-refrigerated with their packaged and sealed. But uh, apparently they sell. These are all, all chicken feet. Chicken feet in a package. And lots of them. More chicken feet. If you don't like chicken feet, how about uh, some duck necks? If you don't like duck necks, how about uh, some bag of duck tongues? Does it matter if they stay fresh in the bag? I'm not sure. Well, obviously some people like that as a snack. Okay, some of these dried beefs I'll eat. I suppose it's the same thing if they seal that package and I eat those, so. But I think those chicken feet and uh, these chicken parts, I think they're at least boiled first. Okay, this sometimes annoys me. All I want is a simple bag of Cheetos, cheese flavored Cheetos. Okay, this one is uh, chicken flavor. Chicken flavor. Cheetos. Shrimp flavor Cheetos. Cheetos. More shrimp flavor. Different shrimp. Two different shrimp flavors. Of Cheetos. More shrimp. Beef flavor. Cheetos. Another beef flavor. Oh, tomato. Tomato flavor Cheetos. Uh, so I actually broke down once and I bought a bag of, I can't remember if it was the beef or the tomato, because uh, I was craving the uh, cheese Cheetos so much, I thought, how much, you know, how much different can it be? It was awful. So it's the same thing for the Lay's potato chips. Uh, they do have ketchup flavor. They do have, uh, they call it classic American flavor. Uh, but be careful what you buy otherwise. This looks like a lime flavor. Or not Doritos, sorry, Lay's. Lay's potato chips. I do get me a bag of Lay's maybe once every two weeks or so. So yeah, this one is the... This one is the... Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Don't know what flavor that is. They got the lime. Uh, grilled squid. Grilled squid flavor. Lays. Grilled squid. More grilled squid. Okay, here's a tomato. Pure tomato. This is the one I buy. Roasted chicken wing flavor. Uh, what flavor is that? Numb and spicy hot, hot flavor. So some Western people might like that. Spicy crayfish flavor. Cucumber. Cucumber flavor. Of course, that might be pickle. I'd have to give it a try to see if it is. Uh, don't know what that... I don't know what that fruit is. I think it's a fruit or is it a vegetable? I think it's a fruit. It's a uh, fried crab flavor. Uh, I like crab and I like Lay's potato chips, but uh, something tells me those two probably don't go together that well. Hey, I'm getting the other different one here. Fried crab. Uh, Italian red meat flavor. That must be like a beef flavor. I don't even see the classic American flavor here right now. They do have a good selection of Lay's potato chips, so you might find one that you like. These look like uh, special ones. Uh, seaweed. Potato flavor potato chips. Uh, more of this lime flavor again. So I think you get the idea. We do have chips and snacks and stuff, but uh, just be careful what you select. 
Yeah, I really don't see the classic American flavor here right now. Okay. If anybody knows what this fruit is, I don't know. I think it's pretty sure it's a fruit. It's another flavor. Oh, here's uh, a flower flavor. <laughs> those got to be just awful. I don't know if anybody's actually buying those. They have quite a few of them here. So I, I, I wouldn't even try those, I think. Okay, so when you do come to uh, Shenzhen, uh, DM me in advance and I'll try to help you get hooked up with some form of payment. You could go to this tape, table and pay. I haven't used that before. I'm not sure exactly how that works. You scan things obviously with your phone. Pay with your phone. I usually go to this section. They usually have one till open. Way over there where that guy is, they have one till. But generally everything is uh, pay by yourself with your phone so uh, DM me in advance and when you get here I'll try to help you get hooked up somehow in some form of payment so okay I gotta shut this down now because I'm gonna have to use my phone to pay but uh, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time